Hello, everyone. I'm Rodney Reynolds, and this is a story about a visionary American technology company whose desire drove them to produce 3D gaming hardware. And thank goodness that happened. That company was 3DFX Interactive, and it was located in San Jose, California, founded in 19. 19- 94. They specialized in manufacturing 3D graphics processing units, or GPUs, and ultimately video cards. They were the pioneers who started a revolution in gaming. Back in 1995, they released their first product, the Voodoo Graphics 3D chip. From that, the Voodoo 2 was born, and this card was a landmark accomplishment, but a very expensive venture. At the time, this card was priced at around $300 US, which wasn't cheap but it outperformed the competition. Also, two video cards in an SLI setup would further increase the 3D performance, making it the best option for hardcore gamers at the time. I vividly remember having two of these cards, and it's actually how I started my journey into gaming, and it's ultimately how I coined the word 3D Game Man, being able to witness the birth of 3D gaming hardware and playing Doom and Quake really truly gives me an appreciation now for this technology. It still amazes and excites me how mesmerizing and captivating games are. I mean, an excellent game can draw you in and take you there in a surreal journey for tens, if not hundreds of hours. This combination of hardware and games planted the seeds to which the industry grew and is today valued at $200 billion. Unfortunately for 3D effects, their downfall was a combination of a few factors. Firstly, competition from the NVIDIA GeForce 2 and ATI Radeon cards, which offered better performance for the same price. Consumers are obviously going to purchase products that offer the best performance and value. Secondly, the Voodoo series could only support OpenGL and Glide and not Direct 3D. And at the time, many gamers were migrating into Direct 3D. Thirdly, their urgency to expedite their products to the market quicker and stay competitive prompted them to spend almost $200 million for a company called Gigapixel. Ultimately, though, they did not succeed and declared bankruptcy. They did, though, agree to be bought out by NVIDIA. Interestingly enough, some of the employees from 3D Effects were hired by ATI and NVIDIA. They used their knowledge to implement multiple video card setups, Crossfire for ATI, and SLI for NVIDIA. Some say, though, that mismanagement by the CEO was a major contributing factor in taking the company in the wrong direction and not correcting it in time. This is just another example, in my opinion, of how competition is completely ruthless, but generally it furthers innovation. Gaming today is leaps and bounds beyond where it once was, and it's continuously being reinvented. I suspect going forward, games will just become more and more realistic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me continue to bring you content like this. Thanks.